friends, Zaz is here with another informative video for you. It's a fact that all animals living on Earth are hunted by predators. Friends, today let's explore some amazing and unique ways of how animals protect themselves from the predators. The first protection way is venom. And do you know what venom is? Venom is a special chemical stored in a special gland inside the animal body. But how will the animal inject venom into the attacker's body? Let me tell you, some animals have stingers, claws, fangs, fangs or teeth basically to inject the venom. Have you any idea what will venom do to the predator's body? It will cause a burning pain or even death. For example, honeybees, they have stingers. Like some spiders, they are venomous, they bite. Another example is lionfish. It has sharp venomous spines. Snakes are also venomous. Centipede also bites to protect itself. Stingray also tries to protect itself by using its tail to sting. Scorpion also stings for its protection. The second way of protection is poison. Some animals have toxin on their body. When a predator wants to eat, touch or catch the animal, then the poison is going to be transferred into the predator's body and going to make it seriously sick. Be aware friends because most of the poisonous animals have bright colors. Poison dart frogs, don't be fooled by its bright colors. Don't try to touch it because its skin has poison. Salamander, a type of poisonous lizard. Box jellyfish. Millipede is also poisonous, which keeps the predators away. Some animals have sharp spikes that can puncture the predator's skin. Some animals have few spikes, but some of them are completely covered with those spikes. Porcupine, it has spines to protect itself. Mr. Hedgehog, you are full of spikes to protect yourself. No one dares to touch you. Sea Archon, a round creature full of spines. Third quality is speed. Some animals want to avoid the predators by running away, flying away, or swimming away as fast as they can. For example, rabbits, they try to run as fast as they can away from the predator. Speed also helps the deer to run away from the attacker. Snakes also use their speed to escape from predators in a few seconds. The fifth one is camouflage. It means some animals blend themselves to their surroundings so that the predators cannot easily find them. 
They are really hard to see. Arctic hare, they can easily camouflage in the snow. Ripper wills is another example of camouflage. Geckos, a type of lizard which can also camouflage. Flounder, it camouflages on the seabed in a perfect way that no body can find. And leaf gray mantis is also hard to detect. Octopus, it's an expert of blending itself into its surroundings. Friends, just concentrate for how octopus is changing its color. Chameleon is a perfect example of camouflage. It has the ability to change color in a blink of an eye. Friends, look! Its feet and hands are amazing! How is it graphing? Sixth way is armor. Several animals wear armor to protect themselves from the dangerous predators. The armor can be a single shell or thousands of tiny plates. You know, usually this armor is heavy, so that's why the animals who have the armor move slowly. For example, tortoise. The house type shell protects the creature. And like armadillo, Fred's looked a number of bands on its armor. It's a kind of protection for the animal. And like pangolin, its body is full of hard plates. It can roll itself up like a hedgehog to protect itself. Hermit crab. Its borrowed shell protects itself. The seventh way is bluff. It means to make themselves more intimidating looking. Intimidating means to make themselves look bigger, stronger, scarier, and more dangerous looking. In this way, they try to trick their predators. In this way, they make the predator think that instead of the predator being the predator, the prey is going to be the predator. Cholera is one example of bluffing. Puffer fish. When the puffer fish is in danger, it bluffs itself up. Then we can see its gigantic spikes. Monitor lizard. They bluff their necks up so that the predators will be more scared than the monitor lizard. Is startling sounds. It means when some animals are threatened, they start producing loud sounds to scare the predator away. And that loud sound is produced by their mouth or by the help of the help of their other body parts. For example, rattlesnake. It lives in deserts. It has a rattle on its tail. In danger, it shakes its tail and produces this sound. Raven is a bird-like crow. It produces very loud sound to scare the attacker away. Hissing cockroach 
makes a hissing sound like a snake. It can really fool predators. Another amazing trick is playing dead. Do you know some predators don't like to eat dead animals? They instead eat live animals. So the animal who is threatened can play dead, then the predator will not eat it. For example, opossum. The common eider ducks also play dead to fool the predator. The most amazing way is to shoot blood. Did you know the Texas horn lizard is a scary creature? This scary lizard has three ways to protect itself. First is to camouflage. Sometimes it uses its spikes to protect itself. But if these two methods fail, then it's going to shoot blood out of its eyes. And do you know this blood can go five feet away? This blood is mixed with a foul taste chemical which warns the predator to keep away. Last way is foul smell. Some animals when they are threatened they release a stinky smell to make sure that the predators don't come too close to them. For example, Tasmanian Devil. And like Lesser Anteater. Stink bug. It also releases stinky smell in danger. Bombardier beetle. It shoots foul smell spray on the attacker. Skunk, the most famous animal who does the stink job. Another example is stink bird. Thanks for watching. Do like, subscribe and share. See you in the next video.